If you are the kind of person that loves to go out and camp, then you've reached the right place. I am gonna take you on some great camping tours and show off some of these beautiful sites. And we're gonna start with Strawberry Bay uh, Campground, and that's on the Strawberry Reservoir. We're gonna start with Lupe. Lupe has great access to the water. We're gonna go over that in a minute. But first, for directions on how to get here, you're gonna go up Highway 189, and you're gonna head east on Highway 40 from Provo, or you're gonna head up I-80 east, and then you're gonna head uh, east on 40 from Park City. And that's gonna take you straight to Strawberry Reservoir. If you miss the reservoir on your way, then you have some real issues and you probably shouldn't be driving. But in case you make it, it's a beautiful site. Look at these campsites. On Lupe, there's 45 campsites. Most of them are pull-throughs and they're spread out. You have a little privacy from the neighbors, which is great for your 10 person family that you might bring along. And some of the campsites actually have these wonderful pavilions and most of them have picnic tables. Just a note, there are no hookups in this site and you need to go to the dump site that's down the road a little bit about a mile and a half away not a big deal and the restroom facilities are great they have electricity and they have flushing toilets which everybody loves beware of fires you're only allowed to have fires in the fire pits and there are certain times where they prohibit fires even in the fire pits due to wildfire danger and we really really ask you that you follow the rules we do not want extra fires that don't need to be uh, happening. And now we're getting this wonderful view of the water. Again, I said this loop is a great loop for access to the water. It's right next to the campsites and you can just jump right in. Activities during the summer include paddleboarding, fishing from the shore and from boats, and also uh, swimming on the shore on the warmest days. Um, don't go out too deep, it gets a little cold. Look at this beautiful sky though. I love it. The sun behind the clouds. It's amazing. Me and my family have come here for several years straight. We come at least once a year, if not more often, and sometimes just for day trips for fishing. And we don't always catch fish. If you don't know what that's called, that's called being skunk. And you know what? I just like getting out. Who cares if I catch a fish or not? But if you catch fish, you will catch 15 inch plus trout and they're healthy and fat as it's a beautiful ecosystem for all. If you're quiet in the evenings, you can catch deer and other critters running around. Bring your whole family. If you are convinced that this is a great place to come camping, then join me as I go through loops B through G. Next one we're gonna go through, of course, is B, and that one is the one with full hookups, so stay tuned to check that out. Also, this particular loop fills up pretty fast because it's popular with the water access and everything else, so beware and Book early so that you don't miss out. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you liked this content, please subscribe to the channel Video Recon and like it and share it with your friends so they know where to camp. And we will catch you on the next video. You have a good one.